Yeah, I have a brain train made number 12. It's called a pinky and thumb. And I'm just sitting in bed because it requires only your hands. And we'll have several more of these coming up. It, these type of moves, they're not cross lateral moves necessarily or cross crawl moves. They are still under this header, a wider header or umbrella of brain gym activities, okay? Um, and this one in particular called Pinky and Thumb is from the same resource as the uh, Body Mind Infinity or the Mind Body Infinity that we just did, uh, which was the Brain Education TV resource. And Actually, since I have Gabu here, he would like to show you uh, the Infinity 8 that we just did. Just like this. Just like this. Oh, Gabu, you're so good. Oh, you want to come up on top? Okay. Let's go the other way. <laughs> Thank you, puppy. All right. So the first one I'm showing happens to be very difficult for me. It's called pink and thumb because my hands are extremely lame. So um, in reality, you're supposed to have the pinky point off kind of to the side, but that's sort of not possible for me. So uh, it will, mine will look like it's pointing more straight up, okay? But all it is, is you're going to put your hands in a loose, a quasi fist okay so uh, go ahead and have it face you like the way I'm doing it and we're going to open up one thumb so the thumb of one hand and on the other hand we're going to point the pinky see it's supposed to point that way <laughs> okay but mine's going straight up okay, let me try okay like this and then you're just going to switch so you'll have the thumb of the other hand and the pinky on the first hand and just keep alternating. So pinky and thumb, right? See how this one wants to come up, okay? And just keep alternating. So go as slow as you need to in the beginning. And then what you want to do is just build up a fluidity in this uh, in this motion and then after you gain the fluidity then you want to build up the speed okay oh. <laughs> there you go. and then you could try I mean it's the same thing but you could try if you take a pause to just start on the opposite hand okay so what the opposite hand would be this okay there might be a little bit of a difference for you okay so there's going to be a few um at least a few other hand only um brain gym exercises and hopefully they won't be taxing on my hand <laughs> like these but give it a try and of course you could do this anytime anywhere as usual just two minutes